We're here at Contingency the day before the race. BJ Baldwin, you qualified fifth yesterday. Tell us a little bit about qualifying and what's your game plan going into tomorrow? You know, I, I love that uh, Rogers brought qualifying uh, to the Baja 500. Um, usually it's, it's kind of difficult to either start way in the back or start first car on the road. And other people have their different theories about whether being first car on the road is a, an advantage or not. Um, so it's cool, you know, you, you kind of get to pick where you want to qualify. You know, I'd, I'd love to qualify first and say, yay, you know, I beat everybody. And, uh, you know, that would be that would have been hard and it would have been uh, it would have taken some life out of the truck uh, of which we need as much life as as we can can get out of the truck tomorrow. Um, so, you know, I just kind of backpedaled just a little bit, you know, took it easy on the truck and qualified fifth, which, in my opinion, I think that is the most advantageous position to start. Do you t tell me a little bit about your competition out there, and do you have you know anyone that you're hoping to beat? Um, definitely, of course. You know, I'm a I'm monster guy. I'm a monsters, uh, you know, premier off-road race guy, and uh, I want to beat Tavo. You know, I want to beat Bryce. I'm, I don't want to let Bryce win this race three years in a row. He's done a terrific job, and, he, and he's a fantastic athlete. But I can't let that happen again. You know, and I've I've done my homework. I've done more homework than anybody else in the field. Been here for three weeks pre-running. Um, we've uh, done extensive testing in the truck. Uh, we have a new fueling system, um, all new suspension. Uh, so you know, I'm ready to go. Truck's ready to go. My team's ready to go. We just need a little bit of luck and uh, to have a good day tomorrow. And I think we'll be just fine. What do you think is going to be that special uh, factor to get you up to that winner's circle? Um, Honestly, you know what? I, I, I've been around the whole course and I've looked at the whole course. Just getting through start to Borrego, which is mile 230, is going to be a challenge. And I'm, I'm really going to hold back the reins on the truck and, and really try and take care of it. Um, once I get to Mike's, I'm going to put the whip to it and haul ass all the way to Santa Tomas. And then I'm just going to try and get through European clean and then... Uh, just try and get through uh, the finish clean. The finish is difficult because it's 40 miles of stuff that you never get to pre-run. The only time you get to see the finish is when you finish the race. You know, So it's not like you can go through that section five times, get extensive pace notes, uh, remember everything. So that's the most difficult part, especially since, you know, for me, I'll, I'll have been in the car for, for nine hours by then and sprinting for five of those hours. So it's going to be difficult. Well, good luck out there. You guys heard it right here from BJ Baldwin. Stay tuned on DirtNews.com and watch BJ battle his way to the front.